make the bad guys good for a weekend. Hey guys, so happy new year and today I'm going to be filming my best in beauty of 2014 video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I have a couple products. I actually don't have that many products as I thought I would. But I'm all well, let's get started. I don't really know what category this would be under. It's kind of like a skincare, but it's also like for brushes or even really eyeshadows. But this is, sorry for the lighting's a little off. Cause. So anyway, so my first favorite of 2014 is the Max Fix Plus. And I got this in May and this like lasts me a while because I probably use this every single time I do my makeup. To dampen a beauty blender for to get a better overall flawless foundation look. It's also good for pigments and eyeshadows to give them more pigmentation. So I just really enjoy this and it's just an over, overall great product. My next favorite thing of 2014 are my Sigma brushes I got. So these are just three I'm showing you. I have the, I don't know what the kit is called, but these this is like an F30, an F40, and Oh, an E40 and an, and an F40. So these are just like my three favorite ones that I use on a daily basis. This, oh gosh, this is my powdered, br powdered brush. This is my contouring brush, which I love. It's because it's like angled. And these need a good washing after this video. And this is my blending brush, which I literally can't live without. It works so good. And these are just three of my favorites, but I love them all. And I've been, and they just make your makeup look so good. Looking into the face favorites. These are all my face favorites. The first thing is a foundation and this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation and I'm in the shade Nude Beige but I can honestly probably go a darker shade because this is a little light but um this is just what it looks like. I just really enjoy this and you've probably seen this all around YouTube but it really does do like the whole 3-in-1 like it lasts like a primer, it covers like a concealer, and it does leave you matte, and oh, it's just it's just a great, great drugstore foundation. I think it's like $10 or something, but it's a great drugstore foundation. Anyway, so my next face favorite is my Sony Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. As you can see, it is literally destroyed. I need to buy a new one. It comes with a neutralizer two shades and a powder which I've all hit pan on and this is such a great dupe to like a MAC concealer palette and it just works great because I use it for contouring and for covering things up and I believe this was around like nine or ten dollars so I'm definitely going back to get me another one and then my next my next face product I was looking for the word is my Rimmel Stay Matte powder and as you can see, I've been hitting pan on a lot of th things recently because this, obviously, this is another one that you see all over YouTube. It's just a great powder and it does keep you matte, and it, but it, it's not like cakey or really heavy. It's just, and it's just a good drugstore powder and um, yeah, this was like $5 I think. And my last two face favorites is a blush. It's two, it's a high-end bronzer and high-end blush. So first is my Too Faced Chocolate Soule Bronzer, and I love this stuff. First of all, it smells like chocolate, so you just can't go wrong. And um, mine has like a weird thing. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I got a defective one. Like the scratch marks are probably for me. But like, it's, see, it's like almost black in there. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was like my brush that did it. I know it's kind of weird, but I love this bronzer so much. I. I used to go on and off between this and my hula, it, and this is like really good all around because it's a lot buildable. The hula one just really is like harsh straight from the beginning. My last base favorite is my MAC blush in Petal Power, and I got this in May when I got my Fix Plus, and I've used this so much like over the past year. It's such a pretty like almost like rose gold blush. And it's just, it's just a really nice color. It has a really nice texture. And it's good for, like, summer because it has the pinks. And it's good for, like, this time of year because it has the warmth. I really enjoy MAC face products, too. My next group of favorites is the eyes. And first I'll start with this eyeliner. This, I think I used this in a tutorial. I believe my last tutorial, like, the purple smoky eye. I think I used this in it. It's the Lord and Barry, Lord and 
Bowery Silk Eyeliner. And it's just really nice. It's a little sample from a birch box. But it, I just love this. It is so creamy. Oh my gosh. And it's like, and it, it smudges well, but it doesn't like come off. Yeah, sorry, I had to move back because this lighting is just terrible. Yeah, so my next three are three mascaras. Well, the first one is the Tarte Multiply Eye Primer, and I literally just got this for Christmas if you saw my Christmas haul, but I've been loving it so much, and uh, I never used, like, an eyelash primer because, like, I just never, like, got around to be using one, and this makes such a difference. Like, I have such like, I have, oh, well, yeah, I do have bad eyelashes because they're so, like, thin and they're so, like, there's nothing really there. And, um, this just makes all the difference. And these two mascaras are my favorite. This is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. This is, like, almost, like, the, I feel like the Rocket by Maybelline is almost a dupe for this. Except the brush is different on this one. But, um, I think mascaras, you could definitely find a good drugstore dupe. So, this one I really like. If you guys want, like, a drugstore dupe video, like, where I compare products, comment down below or give this video a thumbs up, because I'll definitely do that, because I always wanted to do it, and I just never, like, got around to it. And my next favorite is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and this mascara just works really good at volumizing your lashes, and I'm definitely going to purchase a full size of this. So, next, this is, like, the eyeshadow part. I don't have that much eyeshadow just because I don't necessarily use a lot of eyeshadow. Two high-end, like, two Urban Decay and one Maybelline. So, I'll start with the Maybelline one. And this is a quad in the color Coral Oasis. And the reason I love this so much is because this, like, base color... I don't even know if you can see this. But this base color is so freaking pigmented and it's such a pretty champagne color and I really enjoy the end color too like I like those mm. two together um yeah so I really like these Maybelline eye studios I only have this one but I really should go buy more because these colors are so pigmented and the next two things two eyeshadow things I have first is my naked basics and as you can tell this guy has gone through a lot. It is so dirty. I love faint. This is just an old time favorite. You could definitely see people talking about this on YouTube. I love faint. I love naked too. I love foxy. I really just love them all. My last product for this video is the Naked 3 from Urban Decay. And when I first got this, I didn't really know like how I was going to work the colors out. But I'm just going to name a few, a few of my favorites. I like Limit. I like definitely like... I fall towards more towards the matte colors in this palette. Nooner has to be my like all time favorite. It's like this mauvey like tone. I love Nooner. I love Limit. I really like Burn. Factory, Mugshot, Dark Side, and Blackheart are my favorites too. Like all these last three ends. So this is definitely a palette that you have to play with before you know you like it. And I definitely love this palette. So thank you so much for watching this. And I hope you have a happy and healthy new year. Um, also, if you could click my face to subscribe. Because one of my new year's resolutions is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of this year. And I think we can do this. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um... I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.